Okay, let's talk about question number 49. Let A B are real numbers, F is defined from set of reals to set of reals as this one. Then which of the following is are correct? Given function fx is a cos mod x cube minus x cos theta cos minus theta both are same. So it is simply x cube minus x plus b mod x sin mod x into x square plus 1 term is there. So if I eliminate this modulus from both I simply observe it is x sin x cube plus x eliminating modulus from both ends right. So whatever be a or b we observe the function is differentiable. So clearly option a and b are correct. Okay, so this is clear. Okay, let us go for the next one. Okay, let us talk about question number 50. Let a and b are real numbers and a square plus b square not equal to 0. Suppose set s equals z from the set of complex numbers where z equals 1 upon a plus iota b t, t is any real number but not equal to 0. If z equals x plus iota y and z is from set s, then x y lies on 4 options are given based on the same. Let us try the same. z that is x plus iota y is given to me 1 upon a plus iota b t or I can write it as a plus iota b t is equal to 1 upon x plus iota y rationalize just multiply by its conjugate equating real and imaginary parts we have a equals x upon x square plus y square while b t equals minus y upon x square plus y square. If I look at this first part, I can simply observe x square plus y square minus x upon a equals 0 as the equation of the circle. If we look at this one, we can say the center is coming as 1 by 2a comma 0, whether a is positive or negative while the radius is 1 by 2 mod a because when we find the radius root g square plus f square minus c that gives me 1 by 2 mod a. Now from the options when we look at the first one the circle with radius 1 by 2a and center 1 by 2a comma 0 for a as positive yes this option is the correct one. Second says radius is minus 2a with a negative right but center is also changed which is not correct. So option b is not. C and d are talking about the values when a is non-zero b is zero or a is zero b is non-zero. Let us put b as zero in this equation. When we put b as zero we find simply y equals zero. So, with b equals 0 and a as non-zero, we get the x-axis. When we talk about a as 0, we obtain x equals 0. That is, with a equals 0, we are getting the y-axis. Hence, from the given options, we observe a, c, d are correct. Right. Let us move to the next one. 